Hey little dudes. Last week for our English lesson we were reading the book Here We Are by Oliver Jeffers. And this week we were going to be rewriting the story but last week we wrote so many texts from inside that story that I figured we could rewrite this story or we could rewrite our own version of this story. So this week we are not going to be rewriting this story, we're going to be writing our own version of this story. And this book we're going to be writing is going to be for your new teachers, Mr Forward and Mr Adkins. Over the course of the week you're going to be writing several pieces of writing, you're going to be making several pieces of writing. So we're going to start our week with one lesson where we're going to write one text then we're going to build up and we're going to write five pieces of text and then we're going to make a book out of it all on Friday. So your completed book will have the title Here I Am, Notes for Teaching and then your name. Notes for Teaching Dakota, Notes for Teaching Elsa, Notes for Teaching Raphael, Notes for Teaching Charlie, Notes for Teaching Taylor, okay? Notes for Teaching You. In our lesson today we're going to be writing for different purposes. So we're going to be writing a character description about ourselves today, which is why you did a self-portrait for your handwriting. So for one smiley face, your job is to use adjectives. For two smiley faces, your job is to use noun phrases. And for three smiley face, faces, you need to use a range of conjunctions. Okay, in your character description, you need to describe the way you look and the way you act, the way you behave. Okay. I've got a little bit of information about noun phrases there just to refresh your memories because we haven't done any learning on noun phrases for a little while. Then I've got a little starter activity for you to do to brainstorm a list of adjectives about the way you look and a list of adjectives about the way you act. And then finally, I've got a little checklist for you all to do after you've written your character description. I've done an example text right here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that we can read it together. Okay, my character description contains all of those things in that checklist. So I've got a title there, a character description of Miss Henley. Yours might say a character description of Theo or a character description of Taylor J. Or perhaps you want to say all about Taylor J or all about Theo or whatever. It's up to you. You could just come up with your own title. Then I want you to have three subtitles. One about looks. One about the way you act, speak and move. And then one final subtitle about the way you think and feel. Okay, I'm going to read you my character description right here. Guys, get imaginative with it. You could use similes, you could use metaphors, you could do whatever you want. But remember, we're describing and descriptions always contain a lot of adjectives. That is your main learning goal for today. Miss Henley is fairly tall for a lady. Though it's difficult to tell her height as she is often wearing high heels. Remember, we're describing the way I look here. We're not describing the way I act. We're going to do that later. So this is all about the way I look. She has light brown wavy hair, which is usually wrapped into a bun and covered with a headscarf to cover up the grey hairs, which are now popping up overnight. What a nightmare. That's actually true. She has greyish blue eyes that are beginning to wrinkle, also true, at the edges, and her nose is speckled with freckles. Her dresses are always, oh, are always, that should say, are always, stained or torn as most of her clothing is vintage, and she wears a lot of golden jewellery. The way I act and speak. Clumsy, Miss Henley, because I am ridiculously clumsy, I'm always covered in cuts and bruises, is always bumping into things, dropping things and breaking things. And then I've given an example. Examples are really, really important. It's really important to provide evidence for your reader. For example, she broke the ring she received for her 30th birthday present. Her right hand, which just happens to be her writing hand, doesn't work too well. So wherever she writes or draws anything on the board, it's really hard to read. She's always repeating the same adjectives, saying everything is awesome. And she's forever calling the kids in her class scallywags, dudes or munchkins. Greedy Miss Henley never stops eating, even when she teaches. The way I think and feel. Miss Henley loves good manners and thinks children who have good manners will grow into adults with good manners. She loves to be cuddled. Totally, totally, totally true. Especially by the children who she teaches, who she likes a lot. She can sometimes get Hulk style angry when she's disappointed by someone. However, most of the time she's fair. So I've done 
a paragraph about the way I think and feel, a paragraph about the way I act and I move and I speak, and a paragraph about the way I look. It's your job to try your best to include all of those features in your text type today and just describe yourself so, so well.